Hello. We're trying something a little different. As you know, JesusForSinners.com has put out a lot of videos and audio dramas uh, over the years. Any number of things. Actually, we've printed books and put out DVDs. Uh, all of those multimedia things, however, take a great deal of time. Time that is in shorter supply. It's also very hard to produce things quickly enough to keep up with the things going on in the world. Uh, as I'm sure you're aware, uh, things have been changing very rapidly. Um, the powers and the people that uh, are behind the evil in this world uh, seem to be pressing uh, harder and harder and faster and faster uh, than ever before. Uh, maybe that's a sign that Jesus is coming back soon. Let's hope and pray that that's the case. Um, but it seemed like we needed a way to address these things uh, much more rapidly. Uh, because as we encounter more of these, uh, it's imperative that God's people are prepared and strengthened and aware of what's going on so that uh, they can be diligent. Uh, we, uh, we're not unfamiliar with the schemes of the devil, and so we always have to be uh, on the lookout for things going on. So I thought we'd just try uh, doing some uh, just kind of quick commentary videos. So I thought, well, I can sit out on my porch and watch the animals play around. We have uh, lots of squirrels, a couple different kind actually, uh, bunny rabbits. Uh, we had ducks flying by and stopping in and getting meals a couple times a day, but uh, I don't know if they've gone somewhere else for the summer, uh, but I'm sure they'll, uh, they'll be back. So you probably hear a lot of sound from the birds around. I think that's the neighbor's dog barking over there. Um, but hopefully uh, you'll still be able to... Uh, to hear what's being said. I think you will be. And there's uh, fireworks going off too because it's the 3rd of July. So I wanted to uh, find a way uh, to kind of talk about the different things that are going on and the way that uh, the devil and his children in this world um, are really, really pushing uh, this evil and trying to normalize sin more so than uh, before. Um, I just read something tonight. I don't read a lot of different news sites because, uh, unfortunately it just seems almost all of them have blasphemy or profanity or something. I mean, you can't even uh, read the news anymore without, uh, without having to deal with all that evil stuff. Um, it's almost every day there's some sort of, you notice this, some sort of transgender thing going on. And today they actually talked about some poor kid up in uh, Canada who was born back in November, but as uh, the story just came out today, is uh, supposed to be the first child to ever have um, uh, a U in place for their sex, not male, not female, U for unassigned or unknown or something like that. Uh, to make matters worse, the poor child's uh, mother, I guess, uh, is a, uh, a non-binary something, gender something. Um, but if you look at the picture that's floating around, uh, she's obviously a woman that's been taking male hormones because she's trying to grow a very bad goatee. Um, and she talked about wanting to, you know, let her child have decisions and not impose things like gender on uh, her child. Um, I don't know how far that goes. I wonder if uh, mom's going to tell the child about Jesus and give the child the option uh, when it comes to uh, her eternal salvation. Um, we can pray and hope, um, but uh, I get the sense that someone else will have to interject in that uh, child's life at some point, God willing. Uh, and this is this is what I uh, this is kind of what I mean about this stuff being all over the place now, and it's not just with these stories, um, but you see companies uh, and sports organizations 
uh, that are really pushing this. So understand that the world has an agenda and it's not um, satisfied with just having an agenda. It wants to publicize and push that agenda uh, and it wants you to know about it and it wants you to go along with it. If not accepting it, at least tolerate it for now uh, and then they'll make you accept it later. Um, they even, I noticed the last week, I think it was Skittles came out with these white Skittles and there's some corny thing about, well, we're giving up our rainbow cause there's only one rainbow that really counts. And it was for like pride month or something. And so you can't really even buy candy without it, without encountering this worldview. And so this is the normalization of sin and they are after your children. They're after your children now because they have most of the adults. Um, if you look at Western culture, if you look at the United States, um, turn on TV every night of the week, any night of the week, please don't, uh, and look at the stuff that you see. And it's just nothing but sin all the time being passed off as something that's normal and acceptable. And so now they're after the kids. Uh, that's why all this stuff is in schools. Um, and so, uh, the option to just kind of be neutral isn't there anymore. And it's not because Christians are pushing things one way or the other. It's because the world is pushing this. So all the talk about tolerance was a ploy. It's an active attempt, uh, to make sin look normal. And it's been wildly successful. Uh, look at how tolerant people are of sin. The gay marriage has, um, majority support in this country. Um, even among, uh, young quote unquote Christians. Uh, so it's a strategy that's working and that's because, uh, a lot of people in the church are just asleep, uh, and they won't give up the things of the world they enjoy, um, like their Skittles, I guess, um, or their sporting events. I guess, uh, major league baseball team had a gay night, um, not long ago and they had rainbow colors on the uniforms and that. And so if you're someone taking your kid to this thing, uh, even though you may not support this, you're there. And what is your kid seeing? Your kid is seeing thousands of people, tens of thousands of people at a ball game. And the team that you root for, um, promoting this, not just accepting it, but promoting it. And you're there with your kid at the game with the rainbow uniforms. And so what kind of message does that send? You can say all the stuff you want. You can go to church for a couple hours a week and, you know, hear that this stuff isn't right. But if you're accepting these things uh, through your actions, uh, if you're watching things on television, uh, if you're supporting uh, companies that promote these things, um, then it's not really that big of a deal to you. And this is the diligence I'm talking about because, uh, more and more, uh, this is going to be made to look normal and we're not supposed to go along with the world. Uh, the Bible says, uh, come out from among them and be ye separate, says the Lord, touch no unclean thing, just be separate. Now you have to go to the store. You got to go to your job. Um, but there's a lot of options that we have. Uh, where we don't have to go along with this and we can stand out by not going along. We can be separate and that is going to send a bigger message to your kids than anything that you necessarily say, because they can see that their actions behind what you say, it validates the things you say. Uh, and it shows that uh, honoring God and obeying God is important enough to sacrifice and to not go along with ev everyone else and to not participate in the same things they do. Um, that, uh, these things are not okay. And they're so not okay that if that means changes to the things we do and the way we live in order to be separate from those things, then so be it. Right. We're supposed to stay away from evil things. We're supposed to cleave to the things that are good. And so uh, that's something that I think Christians need to start taking 
uh, much more seriously. Otherwise, there will just be this, uh, the march will continue. Um, it will anyway, because the devil isn't going to surrender. Um, but more and more, um, especially with younger people, um, they're seeing God as the odd one. Uh, because everything around them is promoting this sin. And the people that they look up to, parents, other grown-ups, people in the church, um, they're kind of going along with this stuff too. They may not be promoting it necessarily, but they're not really doing anything more than complaining about it. Uh, their behavior isn't changing. And so all the talk doesn't seem real because it isn't backed up with actions. So we can talk more about these things. We can look at what the Bible has to say. Um, but I just wanted to uh, let everyone know that we're going to try this. It may not last, may not work, may be terrible. And then I'll stop doing it and delete all the stuff we posted. I don't know. Uh, but thanks to everybody who watches and listens. And um, hopefully God will use this uh, to help encourage people and warn people and help us all to be a lot more vigilant uh, to what the devil's up to these days. And uh, let's pray that uh, God will strengthen us to stand firm against these things and give us the strength to deny ourselves, take up our cross, and follow our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Good night, everybody. <laughs>